Hi, this is Jeremy, host of the Practical IT Channel. Today we're going to be going over some housekeeping on our fresh Open Media Vault install. Let's get started. We'll sign in to the web interface. And this still has a default password set. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to reset the web UI timeout. In system, general settings, we've got an auto logout option. And since we're gonna be doing a lot of configuration here in the near future, we're gonna set this to 60 minutes now keep in mind, once you have your configuration done, you'll probably want to reset it back to five minutes or something lower than 60 minutes anyways, because it gives you a little bit more, I won't say security, but a little bit more peace of mind that if you walk away, it's going to log out. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and apply the change. Yes. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we want to change the default password. So we're still in the system. We're still under general settings. We wanna to go to web administrator password. And all you need to do here is simply type in your new password twice. Save. And we should be set to go with that. The next thing I'm going to do is we are going to add some users. But we're not going to add these one by one. We're going to use the import feature. So under access rights management and user, this little arrow here next to add also gives you the option to import. Now I'm gonna make a disclaimer here right up front. This is the first time I've attempted this, but I did use an example from the Open Media Vault documentation as the basis for my example here. And so it's saying, each line represents a new user. And what we want to do is we want to paste in our users. And I've got this saved in a CSV file. And so hold on just a moment and I will bring that up. So I'm going to show you my file here. And this is laid out just the way they built the example. They showed this one line at the top here. So we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna paste it in here. And we're gonna say import. And Didn't like that for at least one of the users. So we'll apply it anyways and we'll see what we've got. I'm hoping that it just failed the one user that had some error, but it did not import anything at all. So I'm gonna open up my file again here. And it complained about Bobby. Uh, name, UUID, comment, email. And it's missing a period right there. So, uh, 
Let's copy this again. And we'll go back here and we'll attempt the import. Okay, user 1100 already exists. Um, so it imported Billy, but it did not import the rest. So what we'll do is we'll come back to import and we'll take out Billy. And we'll say import. And just like that, we've got Billy, Bobby, Jimmy, Joey, Peter, and Tammy. And in each case, they have been assigned to the users group. And this will form the basis of other activities we're going to do in future videos with these users. Okay, the final thing we're going to do today is we're going to add a self-signed SSL certificate. So we'll go under System to Certificates to SSL, Add, Set the key size, the period of validity. Common name is just going to be your IP address filled in by default. Organization name. And I'm just going to put in some fictitious information because this is just going to be internal use. And for anybody out there that is wondering, yes, Hell, Michigan is an actual city. And so we've generated a certificate and we will apply that. All right. And that is actually going to bring us to the end of this video on some basic housekeeping with Open Media Vault. So in the next video, we are going to do a couple of things. We are going to set up email notifications and we're gonna start configuring our shares and permissions and things. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you haven't taken a moment to do so, please click the like button, subscribe, and the bell icon. Click that thing to get notifications of future videos. Stay safe out there, happy computing, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.